What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video on Tales of Chris Story, and guys, I was not expecting this update at all, not even gonna lie, um, there's a lot of things happening in this game in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of, like, maybe months, who knows, but I'm excited, <laughs> I'm super excited, I just wasn't expecting another, like, I don't know, weeks worth, months worth of content coming to the game, some things that were not expected, obviously, and some things were, you know, kind of expected, but not as great as they are. So we're going to talk about that in the notices. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into them right now. Let's not waste any time. All right, so I did kind of click on a couple of these. Um, first things first, though, we're going to hit the half anniversary after the festival campaign. So not to spend too much time on this, because this is going to be a long video if I do. Uh, but we're going to have a bunch of different various things happening. So we've got the shop. Special EX Summons Pack, Elemental SSR Summon Pack, and a half anniversary after the festival sale. Additionally, some more summons that are going to be like exclusive to certain types of units. And then the campaigns that we're going to be getting the half anniversary after the festival login bonus. And also the Dream Gleamstone Summons, which is something that's interesting. I want to see how this works. <laughs> but anyway, so getting into it right now, login every day with the campaign to receive SR Plus Summon Tickets and other great rewards. Every day from Wednesday, February 17th through March 16th, 20 ish something days. I'll take that. That's two free 10 plus pulls every single day. Can't complain about that. Now, the contents for the login bonuses is going to be a little bit different. Well, not different. We already got them before, but they're not going to, it's going to be including the like elemental essential material packs that we've gotten with the uh, luck, seek, luck Seeker or whatever, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, you know, campaign they did with the summons and stuff like that. So, earth, water, obviously, fire, wind, light, and dark essential material packs are going to be available. As long as you're logging for 21 days, obviously, it's all yours, guys. So, if you got one or two units that you really want to max out but you don't want to do the farming, this is the perfect time to just make sure you log in and get those actual packs. Now, after the festival special EX summon packs, we got our boy Barbados and the robot. I can't think of his actual real name. The robot Asbel here. I didn't pull for him. I don't really. I don't have him at all. It'd be nice to grab him, but obviously my my interest is in Barbados more than anything. Now, it is a special pack containing 2,980 Gleamstone, and and after the festival special EX summon ticket. Now, I'm not sure if you can choose who you can summon either Barbados or the Asbel here, but. If you get one of those EX tickets, it's still going to be good because if you get one of the other and you got if you got both, you you work you, you know you're helping yourself out. All right, that's going to be here Wednesday, February 17th through Monday, March 15th, with the time to spend the EX summon ticket extended to March 22nd. So you got a little bit of time afterwards. Now, after the festival elemental SSR summon packs, this is going to be interesting here as well because you see six SSRs up here and you'll be able to get one SSR summon ticket for each selected element included. Now, I think you can buy this more than once, obviously, right? So there's six different types of SSRs here. If you buy it more than once, you get a ticket. You can choose who you want to go for. That's what I'm guessing at right here. Now, I would love to have the Christmas Mila because I did not, I was not able to get her uh, when she was out during Christmas time because I wasn't playing the game actively then. And I regret that because she's amazing. Um, but at the same time, I would also like to get Asbel, the Count, over here because I really want to max him out myself. My Stan's already looking pretty good. Colette, eh, I'm not really worried about her too much. I don't plan on using her as much as often. Same thing with Mick Leo. Now, my, my uh, Velvet, she's already maxed. I need to get her S. Uh, her. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, can't think right now. <laughs> I, got, I gotta get her Memoria Stone maxed out. But I don't plan on it anytime soon, so I'm not really worried about it right now. Anyway, uh, this is gonna be here from Wednesday, February 24th through March 11th. So you got time to play. There's also different things happening down here as you guys can see. But just take a look at it. I'm not going to go over too much. I don't want this video to be too long, but we're going to keep moving on. All right, so after the festival select summons, Kohaku, Leon, Kanata. So drop rate of various more stones increase in three different summons. Now, we don't all know about that increased drop rate, right? Yeah, you guys know. Does it exist? I don't think it does. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to stay away from this particular one. Um, 
Obviously, I already got Leon already maxed out. I'm not really worried about him. I just pulled my f first Kanata like a week and a half ago. And Kohaku, I have your fire version, which I think is a little bit better than this version. So I probably won't go after this particular summon myself. However, don't let me telling you that I'm not going to go for it discourage you from going for this, you know, banner. If you think the, the drop rates are going to be higher, and, and even, even though it says it, and you want to go for this actual banner, by all means, good luck. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. And that's here for Wednesday, February 17th through March 15th uh, of next month. All right. The half anniversary after the festival celebration sale. Uh, once per player, Gleamstones can be acquired for a cheaper than usual price. So obviously, I'm guessing every single pack is going to be at a discounted price. So you can buy it one time. Basically save some money if you decide to you know, spend money on, on the game itself. And that's going to be here from Wednesday, February 17th through Monday, March 15th. Now... After the festival, Dream Gleamstone Summon. This is going to be interesting because this is the first time I've ever heard of this. Um, so it's a, it's a summons that guarantees Gleamstone. So the after the festival, Dream Gleamstone Summons can be only can only be used with Gleam with blah, with Dream Gleamstone Summon tickets. So you get summon tickets and then you get those to get Gleamstone. Looks from what it looks like. Interesting enough. Uh, this is going to be having more details in it for uh, future in-game notices. So obviously, when we see those, we'll talk about those. All right, moving right along, we have the Chalice quests now available. Now, this is going to be something new. All right, so get items to unlock panels on the Transcendence board. And I guess you're wondering, my, like myself, what is a Transcendence board, right? So. The Transcendence Board, essentially, in a nutshell, is going to be after you max out a character with the Ascension Board. So once you have, you know, maybe a character or two or three or four, or if you're like been playing the game nonstop, like all your characters, like maxed out on the Ascension Board, you can then move on to the Transcendence Board to make them even stronger. They can already already go up to level 120, from my understanding. I'm not going to click this tab here. It's going to take us to another uh, notification. We're going to finish this one first, and then we might go back up here and, and click that. But it's going to be here February 19th, and we're going to be first at it. Um, like I was saying, you, you must first clear the free mission. Might Okay, I didn't say this before. You must first clear the free mission, Might Unhidden, one, to, to be able to attempt a Chalice quest. And these quests are pretty much going to have the difficulty of Mania 1, evil one evil two so it's the first time that we see evil being brought into the actual game itself and now each difficulty can only be cleared once per day so you can't sit here and farm it so once per day get your stuff move on right um tell us quest availability these are different days are going to be available from monday through sunday obviously the same way that we currently have certain things going on right now um sunday being everything that's going to be available but monday earth Tuesday water, so on and so forth. You guys, you guys can see it. All right, so some of the chalices available, Divine Ivory Chalice, the Grand Ivory Chalice, the Ivory Chalice. So there's three different levels. Obviously Divine being the highest, Grand being the middle tier, and Ivory being the lowest tier. Um, so I'm guessing these chalices are gonna change color depending on what element you're gonna go for and so on and so forth. And I believe, we hit the Transcendence Board. So this is going to be the actual talking about like using those chalices on the transcendence board and what they actually do for your characters. So um, on February 18th at 4 p.m. Japan Standard Time forever afterwards, uh, when you have unlocked all the panels on the ascension board, the transcendence board will become available, like I was saying earlier, which is going to allow your characters to become um, increased max level. Obviously for SSRs, it says here you can go to 120. SRs can go to 110 through the transcendence board. Uh, max art can also be increased as well. Looks like it goes up to eight instead of six. So if you're trying to get your skills to hit harder, better potencies, better healing effects, etc., guys, um, this is a great time if you have those units already maxed on their ascension board to take advantage, obviously, and get that transcendence board done. And guys, like I said, I'm behind, <laughs> so I need to really get into the game or I'm gonna be really behind the curve, right? But anyway, so new items for unlocking panels. I already talked about the challenge quest, you guys already know about that already. Um, but these orbs, unlocking panels that increase in arts max level requires orbs. Orbs can be found in various locations throughout the game. However, since they're too difficult to obtain, it's recommended that you prepare your party the best you can. 
So the main drops are going to be coming from the Phantom Tower, high difficulty quests, extreme difficulty quests, like the ascendant, the transcendent battle, and the arena. Now these orbs look like this, the Seer's Orb, and the locked panels on the transcendent board um, looks like they will be locked. There will be panels on this transcendence board that are not yet available. These lot panels will be made available at a later date. Okay. So panels that will be added at a later date in terms of uh, what they're going to be looking like. Increased resistance to specified status ailments and also increased damage to specified enemy types as well as stat boost at specific HP. All right. So we plan to add more panels to the game. So look forward to even more new and exciting boosts to your character. So these series orbs are what you're going to need. And I'm guessing you still need the chalices. So I'm, I wonder. So I thought the chalices were going to be used for the actual, uh, you know, increasing each unit. But it looks like these orbs are going to be actually used instead. So, huh. I'll have to see how that actually comes out. And uh, we'll probably do a video on that when it comes out. Now, moving on. Uh, half anniversary after the festival celebration sale. I know we kind of talked about this previously at the very beginning. Um, Wednesday, February 17th through March 15th, 2021. There are three different packs available for a limited time. Gleamstone can be acquired for a cheaper than usual price. Um, so you get the 250, the 2500, or the 12,500. So obviously the 12,500 C is going to be the most expensive. 2500 probably the mid tier, if not lower tier, just because it's 2500 versus 12. 50 or 12,005 I mean and then 250 would probably like what 99 cents or a dollar or whatever interesting enough okay so each product can only be purchased once per player like I was saying earlier guys so don't expect to go in and just completely whale it and just take everything right <laughs> you're gonna do it once all right after the festival EX summon pack I know we already talked about this guys um pretty much kind of just rehashing the same information we talked about the contents are though after the festival you get 2980 uh, gleamstone here once per player you get the ex ticket right here guarantees one ex limited ssr memorial stone now it doesn't say doesn't say that you can actually choose or you just receive one okay so you're guaranteed to receive one ex limited ssr more stone from the after the festival special ex summon so you can't choose you just pull and basically whatever you get is what you got okay and then after the festival selected summons flowers war we already talked about this like i said guys earlier um but obviously these are going to be the units you can go for uh, mila kohaku velvet rita kanano this actually wait, this might be a little bit different no it's the same one okay so um these these units will have a higher drop rate kanono rita velvet kohaku mila uh noble hearted however this is probably more for the units uh for the, for the guys that are starting out to get these units right here just because i mean most of us should either have these units right now if we're playing the game since day one or you know probably have them maxed out like a, my meal is already maxed out not to you know flex or anything like that guys i'm just saying i've been playing for a while so i have all of these units outside of like the sparkling in battle kohaku everything else i've already have so if you're like me and you pulled a couple banners you probably got lucky and pulled one of these so obviously this is more geared for newer players coming into the game all right I'm not going to go over these units um, just because I've already went over them in the previous video, um, but still, they're pretty good, solid units. I would say Kohaku is pretty solid for sure. Uh, Velvet, she's pretty solid as well. She has one of the highest attack stats in the game, if not the highest. But she's a glass cannon. Uh, Rita, she's pretty good too for a water unit. A lot of water units don't have a high attack stat, and she's also a art user. So, and her defense is actually not bad either. Twenty-seven hundred. Can't complain about that. And then we also have Kanono. She's okay. 10% um, attack to all allies which, when she's maxed out. I got her right now. She has 3,600 attack. Not bad. 25, 2350 for the defense. Could be better. She's kind of a glass cannon as well, but at the same time, she's still pretty good. But anyway. And last but not least, the current issues. So. Um, update it from February 15th. We're going to stop there. Okay, so first things first 
Um, the under certain circumstances, you are already acquired one does not display when using a half anniversary choose stone limited summons or half anniversary choose stone summons to select a new character. This has not happened to me, but I'm sure it's happened to others. So obviously, it's an issue that they're currently working on. The good roles section of the help screen contains incorrect information. Um, have I noticed that myself? There are times in arena battles when defeating an opponent character with the last action that can be taken in your turn causes the target icon to be misaligned. Yes, I've noticed that. <laughs> I've noticed that. That's crazy. It looks looks look, look, look stupid. Like, like what are y'all doing, right? Alright. When we turn from a raid, the results are not being displayed properly. I have noticed that myself. Including a quest that costs no AP attempt, the result screen shows an affinity level of zero. I've seen that before a couple times here and there. Not as often though. And the last two, I believe. Uh, there are times in arena battles when the camera tracks an opponent character's art animation regardless of the camera setting. I haven't noticed that. And there are times when starting a quest with support characters, including your party line, that causes an error if the support character does not appear in battle. I have not noticed that because I don't use support characters like that. But, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, a bunch of stuff, guys. <laughs> a bunch of stuff happening. A lot of it unexpected. A lot of it just kind of came out of the blue like I was not expecting to have to make a video on this tonight just because I mean I just made one a couple of days ago and I thought that covered everything up to the next you know week or two but obviously not there's a bunch of different stuff happening in this game this game is still interesting to me it has a lot of life left into it and we also have the demon vicious possibly potentially coming around the corner uh, with the part two of chapter seven which is looking forward to so like i said guys i'm probably going to save my gleamstone until we get notice of what the next banner is coming out of not the ones coming right now but obviously in terms of demon vicious or cascade we'll see i got 14,317 gleamstones so i'm not gonna go not gonna complain but i'm not gonna spend that right now on the two units right now unless i mean i probably will if they don't come out like you know vicious and cascade but if they they don't come out then i will go for the current uh tear and level set but anyway i feel like i'm rambling right now guys i'm gonna wrap it up here let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i've been kdg i hope you guys are having a fantastic day if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe i don't ask for it a lot guys however it does help the channel out like i was saying in my previous video and it helps me stay motivated to making videos for you guys to watch so anyway like I said, wrapping it up, been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Remember to always walk tall, my friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.